What's going on guys? Okay, so in this video, we're actually gonna be covering a topic that I have actually never seen anybody cover, like ever. In fact, so much so that, you know, I've looked at other people's uh, courses and and I've liked the syllabuses and, and things like that, and I've actually never even seen it covered in those. People tell you where to get your data from, they show you how to do that, but they never actually show you what to do with the data afterwards. All they say is take it over here and set it up with this mailer or send it for skip tracing, but they, they don't cover what's in between there. And there's actually a really, 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 I can say that so many times, there's a really important step in between buying the data and sending the data, the data for skip tracing or to like the mail, if you're not gonna be cold calling, um, it's a really important step out there. I don't know if I'm like divulging some massive secret or something like that. I don't really know. All I know is that um, I wasted a lot of money sending bad data out there. And I wanna show you guys how to not waste money. Um, so we're gonna jump right into it. We're gonna cover basically how to clean your data after you buy data. It's, it's pretty simple but it's something I think a lot of people don't understand. We're gonna cover some Google tools um, and basically how I do it. So let's get to it. Okay, so I tried to use my webcam originally, but for some reason, I don't know why, I'm trying to figure it out. Whenever I talk with my webcam, my, my words don't keep up with my mouth and it just looks just terrible. So you guys are gonna get this again. I'm just probably gonna shrink this down a little bit and put it on the corner of the screen or something like that on my screencast, kind of like I did in one of my previous videos. Uh, we're just gonna, we're gonna roll with that. This, this just does better video. So um, we're at the computer now and um, as you can see, hopefully if I'm editing this properly, uh, you guys are gonna be getting my good side. Uh, I think my beard is fuller on this side. On this side, it's not so much, so. Um, I don't, I don't know why I just told you that. Anyway, so, uh, righto. Um, so on my screen right now, we have the tutorial uh, folder. I like keeping my data inside of a list folder on Google Drive. Uh, this is just kind of like another email I have. This isn't like my business email. I can kind of show you, you know what? Let's show you it. Um, let me just go to my other screen real quick. So like, uh, hmm couple lists in here that are kind of secret lists. Maybe I'll be able to uh, block them out in the video because they're not lists that I'm willing to tell you guys about yet. Okay? Secret lists. All right, so um, this is kind of what it looks like in my business side. You see I'm using G Suite. I'll cover that in a whole nother video. Um, I'll be telling you guys about how to use G Suite. Um, and integrate it into your business. Um, but anyway, this is what it looks like. I have all my equity ones in here, uh, different lists I have, inherited, probate, all that good stuff. Um, and this is old buyer data that I have just sitting here that I pulled out of here and I threw inside this video, this uh, folder here for the tutor tutorial uh, just because I don't want my data and my other side getting mixed. I just can't talk right now. Getting mixed. Getting mixed up. Okay, so. Um, so I dropped it in here. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. We do all of our data like nonsense in a uh, Google drive. Um, there is some really cool ways with Excel to do this kind of stuff, but, uh, it's quick enough to do it this way. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to uh, do it here. I'm going to pull up what is actually my business backend. I'm not going to show you guys this because it's going to be a whole whole nother series on how to set up a backend website for yourself and your team to do the training for them. Um, that is nice and structured and all that good stuff. But what I will do, you know what? I'll just do this real quick. I'll take a snipping tool. Just so I, I'll just give you guys kind of like a, so you guys know what I'm talking about a little bit, but I don't want to like give you all of it, okay? Uh, kind of trickle it on. I kind of give you guys like the bottle, okay? Not overwhelm you guys too much. I just use a snipping tool. Boom, so you guys can see this like a snapshot here. You can see my step two. And then I kind of do these trainings, boom and boom. Uh, for my team, you'll see down here like these little right here, these, these, those are keywords that we're gonna be filtering out of our list so that we clean it up. What a lot of people do, they buy this data from list source, okay, and they, they never filter any of this. So they'll just send this for skip tracing Tell the skip tracers, oh yeah, I want the first column and the second column uh, for the first name and the last name, and I want the mailing address and the mailing city. And then what ends up happening? They pay 
for all this blank data to be sent. You're gonna watch me real quick clean up this list source data, what I wanna keep and what I don't wanna keep. So we're gonna go through and do that right now. I do not care about middle and name through owner data. So I'm gonna just highlight all that. What I did there is I highlighted the D column, shift to K column, right click, uh, and then delete columns D through K. And that's gonna take those out, boom. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda of like expand this out real quick so I can find where my zip code is. Boom, there's my zip code. So from mail zip to property address, I'm gonna control that again. I'm gonna delete those out. Boom. Okay, so now from property address until we go to the city, I'm gonna delete all that out. Okay, and now from the zip code until the county, I'm gonna delete that out. Because I like to have my counties inside all my lists and then equity onward, I'm gonna delete that out. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click this, I'm gonna insert column to the right. And then I'm gonna actually take this label name and I'm gonna right click that, I'm gonna cut that whole column out and I'm gonna paste that in this very last column here. Okay, and now I'm gonna delete this column. And then I'm gonna call this notes. All right, so that's kind of the basis of it. And then what I normally do is, I'm just gonna copy one over from my one of my other lists real quick, just so you guys see it. Um, copy that, and I'm gonna paste it into here. So you see what I just did there? I took the first name, it, this, I basically changed the columns up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab, I'm gonna highlight the whole thing. I'm just gonna double click um, so that it makes everything expand out. All right, and now I remember this was last name. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that so we don't get confused later. Okay, so this is my list. This is how they look. Uh, later on, I add another column here, insert column right. Uh, and then I call that numbers and then my phone numbers go boom, they go right there, okay? Um, so now we wanna take care of all this blank data. What we're gonna do is we're gonna filter out through all of this first. Okay, we're gonna filter out all of these, these little things, LLC, trust, you know, uh, da, 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 any other ones we can find, uh, churches and things like that. We're gonna filter those out. So what we're gonna do is on the bottom here, we're actually gonna just go ahead and create boom. And we're gonna name this one uh, trusts. And then we're gonna go boom. Say missing, boom. Uh, businesses, I leave this as list source. And then, not that it matters right now, but I'm gonna make another one. I'm gonna call this one no numbers. And then I'm gonna make another one. I'm gonna call this one numbers. Um, Basically, that's kind of like what my Excels end up looking like in the very end, from list source all the way until skip traced, okay? I collect all the ones, once it comes back from skip tracing, we split them apart again with what came back with numbers, what came back without numbers, so that those are different. So, um, we're gonna, all we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this first row here, create one more that I forgot about, and this one's gonna be called clean data, or just clean. Um, and then it goes all the way to the right. So as you can as you can see here, so I have like a flow here, right? I have the list source data, and then the business, trust, missing data, and then all the clean data goes over here, and then once the clean data is finished, all that clean data gets skip traced, and then boom, it goes into the next one. So, so you see my data flows from left to right in, in like an order here. Now all we're gonna do is we're gonna select this whole thing. This top left corner is gonna highlight every single thing. I need to bring up my screencast so I can make sure I can see what I'm showing you guys. Then go over here to the top where it says create filter, select that, create your filter. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on a little, uh, I'm gonna call that a tornado, uh, click it, and then we're gonna do filter by condition, and we're gonna say text contains and then we're literally just gonna go through a list of keywords, okay? Um, I'm gonna start with LLC. Now just click OK. What's gonna happen is it's gonna filter every single thing that had an LLC. You notice how all these have LLC in it. Okay, we don't want those inside. We don't, we don't wanna send those yet, that yet because I can't send mail to an LLC. All right, I wanna send mail to a person. Rather, I can't skip trace an LLC. 
but I can skip trace people. So what we do is after we filter out this data, we actually look up every single one of these companies individually, find the owners, and then put their information in later. So what we're gonna do for now is we're gonna select number four, and if you notice, I don't know if you can see in the video, but it says four, five, seven, nine, 11, blah, 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 blah. These are, if when it filters it, it does filter it and combine it into all one row. So what we, what we wanna do is we wanna select four, we wanna go down to the bottom, hold shift and select that, control C or command C if you're on Mac, or you can right click and copy. Okay, go over to our businesses one, go to number two, all right, control V to paste. All right, control Z, abort. Make sure you have just that column selected. Sometimes it does this and sometimes it doesn't. Usually it only does this if you have it like this where there's no more columns to the right and you try and copy this, it's gonna like repaste it multiple times if you don't just select a top left most column. Because if I select the whole thing, I highlight this whole row at M, it's gonna restart at, at uh, end for November and just paste the data all over again. So something to notice. Um, so I'm gonna hold that and I just control V and that's gonna um, paste it in there. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight all this again and then do this double click thing I showed before just so we clean it all out there. Okay, so now you see there was 50 records, 50 LLCs inside there, okay? Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna actually right click and delete these columns out um, or delete these rows. So when you say delete rows four through 227, it's only gonna delete the ones you have highlighted. So I'm gonna delete those. It's gonna delete those all out. Now what I need to do is I need to come back in here and I need to, or I need to unselect my filter, okay? And then reselect it here so that it reshows everything again. Cause otherwise it's, it thinks that nothing exists. All right, so we're gonna do filter by condition again. We're gonna do text contains. And this time let's do like LTD. I'm gonna click OK. We didn't have any, so we're gonna go back and let's do uh, ink for uh, a corporation. Click OK. All right, so we got a few, so we're gonna grab it. Uh, hold Shift, copy. I'm gonna go back over to businesses. I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom, so select here, Control V. It's gonna paste it, go back to list report. We're gonna delete it. I'm basically deleting rows out of this um, this list report one, but I always like to have like my all my like true data back in here. So what I'll actually do is I'll take my original sheet and I'll actually copy that data and I'll just put it back in here. Or um, what I've also done in the past is you can just go back through and just after you delete all the data from list report, because basically all you're doing is you're taking bits and pieces of this master list source data and you're just filtering it throughout these different um, uh, sheets down here. So you can copy those sheets and paste it back into this master one if you wanted to. You just do that just um, just so that you always have the data. You don't have to. I'm just OCD about things like that. So, all right. So as you can see, that's basically how it works. So what you'll do after you filter through everything that you can find here, and what I'll actually do is there's going to be a link in the description below, and, it, and that link will take you to, I'm going to do an infograph basically of, of the um, all the lists of keywords that you know uh, you can get and filter through. Um, so uh, you can click on the link and download that or whatever if you if you want to. But you'll start kind of getting your own. But at least the list that I have will be a nice jump start for you. Um, so anyway, um, what I do next is I click on this one and then I clear all and then I only select blanks and I click OK. You notice that kind of filtered out a bunch of them. So now I can see okay, well these are, these look like all businesses. So Oops. So what I'm gonna actually do is I'm gonna grab just those ones and I'm gonna put those over in businesses. All right, so now if I scroll through these, I should relatively see names in every single column or you know, every single row should have a name in it now. As you can see here, everyone has a name and that's what you want. If you're gonna be sending this out there, you want that. So now what I would do at this point is I would go ahead and I would take and I would look through this and what I actually do, I, I crap you not, I don't really get that saying, but I go through and I filter by condition in a, in a massive list. And this one, I can just look at it. Like I can see this one right here, S. This one, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it. I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna go over to missing and I'm gonna paste that one in here, okay? Because an S isn't good enough. So what my VA will do then is she would actually look up this address in the county records 
um, and she's going to look to see what the name is in county records. If she can't find it in county records, or rather the, the um, property appraiser site, she's going to go into county records and she's going to look up that address and look for like the mortgage note and see what the name is on the mortgage note and fill in the name. Data, your, your data, your list and your marketing is only as good as the data, right? So um, you want to learn how to do this and then you just want to automate it. You don't want to have to deal with it. It's not something you want to spend a ton of time on because you just go nuts. Um, but if you do this from the beginning, uh, your data is going to be so accurate and you're going to be able to have more success when you do Facebook marketing and you do, you know, your mailers and all this stuff. Literally, I got stacks. Let me grab a stack. Stay here. Stay. This is just like a quick grab, right? This is like, you know, just a stack of like 200 postcards that come back from me learning, okay, not to just put stupid data on there, right? When the data is not accurate, it just doesn't, it just comes back, okay? Um, and a lot of guys will say, well, that's good. You can, you know, no one else is looking at these, right? No one else is going through the time and writing down all these addresses and then contacting those people. Well, sure as hell, I'm not doing it. Good for the guy that is going to do it, but I'm going to make sure my data is right first and then I don't want these coming back because I'm just blowing money then. Okay, maybe if I was to do mail like heavily and I did get some back after I cleaned this data and now I know that's a golden nugget. I know that I'm definitely going to run down that one because I looked up that data. I know that data is good. Now, when you're starting to deal with hundreds of thousands of rows, you're not going to get as nitpicky with your data, but um, you're still going to at least go through this initial process to make sure it's semi good. Yeah, so I sort of A to Z and then I just literally scroll through it um, and then I do filter by condition, text is exactly, and then like, for example, I see that one has a C, I do C and I click OK. Okay, so that's a lot faster to do it that way. So I then control copy that one, go to missing data and paste that in there. And then I would just go back here and I would switch, switch this from C. I would go A, B, C, and I would do that all the way through the alphabet. Once it's all said and done and we have it all clean, what's gonna happen is we're gonna grab all of that. We're gonna go over to clean and we're gonna go ahead and paste it in. And then we're gonna take this, uh, this row here. We go all the way down to the bottom again. We delete that out and boom. Now we have a list like this, this clean list here. We would save this, we'd go to file, we'd save as CSV and we'd send it to get skip trace. Um, actually, first what we do is we go uh, insert column left, then we would X this out, paste it in here, and then delete this row. Now it's good. First name, last name, mailing, address, city, state, zip, and then property information. That's how we clean the data. Um, that's how it's done. Um, hopefully this is super helpful to you. Um, if this was helpful to you, helpful to you, and I really hope it was because um, this is like an absolute game changer for your company, I promise you. Um, a lot of people don't cover it. Um, you know, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and uh, share it with one of your wholesaling friends um, or really anybody who's wanting to clean up data to send it for skip tracing because this is how it's done. So thank you so much, guys. Hopefully this was really helpful to you. Um, keep pressing on. Don't give up. Um, you know, you just got to keep hustling and keep educating your mind uh, and then helping other people. And I promise uh, success will come to you. Thank you so much. We'll talk to you soon.